September 11, 2001's attack on the World Trade Center tower and additional atrocities committed on that day, the United States and its associates have been greatly concerned about the governing and development of Afghanistan and other Middle Eastern countries. In popular media, it has been frequently noted that the United States intends to assist Afghanistan. Afghanistan's economic picture is bleak to say the least. In comparison to the U.S.'s GDP of $14.6 trillion, Afghanistan's UD GDP of 2008 was only $26.29 billion. Afghanistan's labor contributions are also dominated by women in the agricultural arena. USAID's cross-cutting program operates with the objective of advancing the role of women and removing the constraints on their potential. Although this goal is noble on its surface, objectifying women as an economic resource as opposed to human beings is extremely shadow, not to mention insulting. The cross-cutting program as established by USAID Afghanistan strongly emphasizes fiscal achievements and ignores any social ills that led 
to the disability of women too contribute to those fiscal achievements. The program has allocated over $24.6 million in microfinance loans to women, trained 78 female judges, and produced over 670 female journalists. But not one penny was used to toward addressing how an entire gender could be subject to the things that women of, Af of Afghanistan face daily. Solutions should be comprehensive and inclusive as opposed to limited and exclusive. There should be a culturally sensitive effort at improving the economic development of a particular nation. This solution should consider all of the variables influencing the implement implementation of a fair and feasible form of economic development. This solution has yet to be formulated.